Monday in Holy Week. Station at St. Praxedes. The station was originally held at Saints Nereus and Achilles, but the tottering state of this church caused it to be transferred in the 13th century to St. Praxedes. The precious pillar of flagellation, so called, brought over from the Holy Land by Cardinal Colonna at the time of the Fifth Crusade, was placed by him in this titular church, where it is still kept. In exchange for the iron ring attached to this pillar, St. Louis presented the church with the three thorns of the holy crown that are still preserved there. The relics of many martyrs gathered from the suburban catacombs were brought into this church under Pope Pascalus I. In the epistle, Isaiah, typifying Jesus, prophesies his obedience and the indignities of his passion. He likewise foretells his triumph, for he has placed his trust in God, who will raise him to life again. Finally, he shows how the Jews were to be confounded. Then the Gentiles, through baptism, the public penitence by being reconciled, and the faithful by their Easter confession and holy communion will pass from darkness to the light of which Jesus is the font. The Gospel tells of the supper of which Jesus partook in the house of Simon the leper six days before the Pasch. While Martha, all activity, served at table, Mary, more loving, went up to Christ, and breaking the long narrow neck of an alabaster vase filled with an ointment of great price, poured the contents over his feet, and Jesus commends her for having thus anticipated the embalming of his body. The indignant protest of Judas lead us to fear the crime into which he will fall as a result of his avarice. Finally, the presence at the supper of Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised to life, is a forecast of the coming victory of Christ over death. The choice of this gospel is not without connection with that of the stational church. St. Praxedes and St. Prudentia put their house at the disposal of Pope St. Pius I, like Mary and Martha, received Jesus into theirs. Monday in Holy Week Christ our King, thy kingdom come.